Hello friends, welcome to the TYBSC distribution theory class. In today's lecture, we will see the some examples of variable distribution. Before going to start the examples of variable distribution, we will see the decile of variable distribution. Now, they find the deciles so we consider that we want to find the seventh decile and we know that the notation of deciles is like this this is the seventh decile okay so now if i want to find the seventh decile of the variable distribution so what we want to find we want to find the f of d7 that is distribution function of d7 uh, which is same like this in the quartiles we want to find the first quartile we find f of q1 and which is equal to 1 by 4 so same here f of d7 is equal to 7 by 10 and which is also equal to probability of d7 uh, sorry the probability of x is less than equal to d7 this is the definition of distribution function okay and we know that this probability this is uh, the distribution function of variable distribution is 1 minus e raise to minus x upon alpha raise to beta okay so here just replace the x by d7 so that is your 1 minus e raise to minus d7 upon alpha raise to beta is equal to 7 by 10 since we know that x has a variable distribution with parameter alpha beta okay so <coughs> Further, if we want to solve this equation, we get e raised to minus d7 upon alpha raised to beta is equal to 1 minus 7 by 10, which is nothing but 3 by 10. Okay. Now, I'm taking the log on both sides, we get minus d7 upon alpha raised to beta equal to log of 3 by 10 this is log this e okay <clears throat> that means this is d7 upon alpha raised to beta is minus log of 3 by 10 or you can write it as log of 10 by 3 okay since we know that log of a upon b is nothing but the log a minus log b okay and if you have to find this the negative side outside then we get log b minus log a okay so that is nothing but minus log of b upon a okay so same here i have to just write it so your d7 is nothing but log of 10 by 3 raised to 1 upon beta and this alpha is denominator here numerator so which is alpha multiplied by log of 10 by 3 raised to 1 upon beta this is the seventh decile so by using the same way you can find the any decile if you want to find the uh, third decile you can simply proceed with f of d3 like this you can solve it okay now we will see the some examples of variable distribution so first example is suppose we have given that the x has a 
Bevel distribution with parameters alpha, beta, and we want to find the PDF of x upon alpha. Okay, so firstly, what we have given that we have given that x has the Bevel distribution with parameter alpha, beta. So density function of eight is f of x is equal to beta upon alpha x upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha raised to beta where x is greater than 0 and your parameters alpha beta greater than 0 okay and 0 otherwise now we want to find the pdf of x upon alpha so we have to assume that y is equal to x upon alpha or you can write it as x is equal to alpha into y okay now if your x tends to 0 ultimately your y also tends to 0 if your x tends to infinity your y also tends to infinity that means your range of y is lies between 0 to infinity. Now we want to find the Jacobian. Your Jacobian is dx by dy. Old variable with respect to new variable. Which is x with respect to y is nothing but your derivative is alpha. And your absolute value of Jacobian is nothing but Absolute value of alpha is alpha is your positive. So there is simply alpha. So now we want to find the PDF of y. Okay. Now the PDF of y is g of y is equal to f of x where x is equal to alpha into y into Jacobian. So your f of x is beta upon alpha x upon alpha x is alpha y upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha x is alpha y upon alpha raised to beta into Jacobian is alpha. Okay, so if I have to cancel these terms, alpha alpha get cancelled, this alpha alpha get cancelled, this alpha cancel with this alpha. So what is the remaining terms is? Remaining terms is beta into y raise to beta minus 1 e raise to minus y raise to beta. Okay, now this is the PDF of x upon alpha where y is greater than 0 and your parameters beta greater than 0. This is just the density function of y where y is equal to x upon alpha. Okay. So this is the density function of h. Yeah. Okay. Now, the so next example, <coughs> let x has a Bevel distribution with parameter alpha beta and we want to find the PDF of x upon alpha raised to beta. In last example, just we want to find the PDF of x upon alpha. In this example, in the last example, there is no standard format of uh, any distribution PDF. But in this example, we will see it is the, any standard format or not. We will just check it. So we have given that x has a Bevel distribution with parameter alpha 
beta. So density function of Weibull distribution is beta upon alpha x upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha raised to beta okay where x greater than 0 parameters greater than 0 0 otherwise okay now we want to find the pdf of x upon alpha raised to beta so here y is equal to x upon alpha raised to beta that means your x is equal to alpha into y raised to 1 upon beta again if your x tends to 0 so y is also tends to 0 also if your x tends to infinity y tends to infinity so range is same as to x that is y lies between 0 to infinity okay further we want to find the jacobian so your jacobian is dx by dy x with respect to y so that is here <coughs> x is your alpha into y is to 1 upon beta okay so <coughs> i can just take the derivative of this we get alpha upon beta this is alpha into 1 upon beta y raised to 1 upon beta minus 1 okay <coughs> this is the jacobian now for the simplicity or cancellation of terms i will just put the y term in this jacobian so alpha upon beta y is your x upon alpha raised to beta into this term is nothing but 1 minus beta upon beta okay so that is nothing but i have to just write this beta upon sorry this is alpha upon beta these terms are your alpha upon beta is as it is and term is x upon alpha raised to 1 minus beta okay so your absolute value of jacobian is nothing but this is the positive term this is again positive term so there is no change so that is alpha upon beta into x upon alpha raised to 1 minus beta this i have to just write in the form of x because for the cancellation of term now we want to find the pdf of y which is g of y is equal to f of x where x is a alpha into y raised to 1 upon beta into Jacobian. So your f of x is beta upon alpha and x upon alpha I have to just write x upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha raised to beta into these terms are Jacobians are alpha upon beta x upon alpha raised to 1 minus beta okay now this beta and this beta get cancelled this alpha and this alpha get cancelled so the remaining terms are x upon alpha raised to 
this beta minus 1 plus 1 minus beta e raise to minus this x upon alpha raise to beta is y okay so this term beta beta get cancelled 1 1 get cancelled then something raise to 0 is 1 so this is equal to e raise to minus y where y is greater than 0 and now which is the pdf of exponential distribution with parameter 1 or you can say that this is the pdf of gamma distribution with parameter 1 comma 1 so that means if x has a Weber distribution with parameter alpha and beta then the x upon alpha raised to beta has the distribution exponential with parameter 1 or gamma with parameter 1 comma 1 okay so this is the relationship between Weber and gamma distribution okay now the next example is if x has a Weber distribution with parameter alpha beta then we want to find a pdf of y is equal to x square okay now we have given that x has a Weber distribution with parameter alpha and beta okay so density function of h is f of x is equal to beta upon alpha x upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha raised to beta where x greater than 0 and alpha beta greater than 0 0 otherwise okay now we want to find the distribution of x square so let y is equal to x square that means your x is equal to square root of y it is the positive square root because x is the just values greater than 0 so we, therefore we have taken the x is equal to positive square root of y now your jacobian is dx by dy so x with respect to y is derivative 1 upon 2 into square root of y now if your x tends to 0 y also tends to 0 if x tends to infinity y also tends to infinity so therefore y is lies between 0 to infinity now we want to find a pdf of y so pdf of y is g of y which is equal to f of x where x is equal to square root of y into jacobian now your f of x is beta upon alpha x upon alpha is square root of y upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus x upon alpha that is square root of y upon alpha raised to beta into Jacobian is 1 upon 2 times square root of y okay so which is nothing but the <coughs> this 1 by 2 is I have taken the outside this beta is as it is alpha is taking with this so this is 1 upon alpha and 1 upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 is nothing but 1 upon alpha raised to beta this plus 1 and this minus 1 get cancelled 
further your square root of y raised to this beta minus 1 and this minus 1 is minus 2 a raised to minus square root of y upon alpha raised to beta is zero. here y is greater than 0 and alpha beta also greater than 0 which is the pdf of y this is not again the standard format of any distribution okay so this just the pdf of y where y is equal to x square and x as a variable distribution with parameter alpha and beta okay so these are the some examples of variable distribution if you have any doubt you can send me in the google class now i have taken one more example which is the last example of variable distribution If x has a variable distribution with parameter alpha and beta and we want to find a pdf of y is equal to a into x is any real number ok is any real number is not any conditions are also we know that if x is a positive then again here we have to consider that a is a greater than 0 okay if a is <coughs> uh, not positive then uh, also what happened in the pdf we will explain in later okay so we have given that x has a variable distribution with parameter alpha beta so density function of 8 is f of x is equal to beta upon alpha x upon alpha raised to beta minus 1 a raised to minus x upon alpha raised to beta where x is greater than 0 and parameter also greater than 0 0 otherwise okay now we want to find the y pdf of y is equal to x or you can say that x is equal to y upon a also if your x is greater than uh, tends to 0 or x tends to infinity y also tends to 0 and y tends to infinity so therefore the range of y is lies between 0 to infinity Now we want to find the Jacobian. Jacobian is dx by dy. Here I have to just absolute value of Jacobian. So derivative of x with respect to y is 1 upon a. a is positive. Here if a is any real number, if that means if a is lies between minus infinity to infinity so that case this 1 upon a should be 1 upon absolute value of a like this okay only change in the case is this here we have to consider a is greater than 0 so that's why i have to write it like 1 upon a if you, a is a minus infinity to infinity then you can write it as 1 upon absolute value of a now further we want to find the pdf of y that is u of y is equal to f of x where x is equal to y upon a into jacobian that is f of x is beta upon alpha x upon alpha x is y upon a into alpha raised to beta minus 1 okay and 
a raised to minus x upon alpha. So x is y upon a into alpha raised to beta and Jacobian is 1 upon a. Okay. So that means this beta upon this a into alpha is a into alpha y upon a into alpha raised to beta minus 1 e raised to minus y upon a into alpha raised to beta where y is greater than 0 okay and your parameters a alpha beta also greater than 0 now which is the pdf of Weibull distribution with parameter a alpha beta so therefore y is equal to x has distribution Weibull with parameter a alpha and beta where x has a Weibull distribution with parameter alpha and beta okay this is the one more result of Weibull distribution okay now Thank you and thank you so much.